What's good, everybody? I'm Mr. Valentine. Today I'm watching the 1980 picture, Stir Crazy, starring Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor is on my Mount Rushmore of comedy. Richard Pryor live in concert, his stand-up special, is the funniest thing I've seen to this day. So I'm excited to see him more in a filmic role. I saw him a little bit in Harlem Nights, you know, with Eddie Murphy and Red Fox, but he, did, he was not featured prominently. So I'm excited to see him, you know, stretch his legs a little bit as it were. And obviously Gene Wilder and Willy Wonka and Blazing Saddles, he's phenomenal. So I can't wait to tap into it today. Thank you for being here. If you wanna support the channel, like this video, leave me some comments down below to give me some undulation with the algorithm. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you wanna get early access to all of my videos in full length, unedited versions, go on over to the Patreon, Mr. Valentine Reacts. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are absolutely wonderful. Shout out to my prestige worldwide members over there on the Patreon, Katie S, Russian Paul, Robert M and Elijah J. Appreciate you thoroughly. And without further ado, Stir Crazy 1980 coming to you. Let's do it. Oh, me too. Oh, and count me in. It is divine. <laughs> Richard Price in the livery role. And I'll have a, a little more of that. Fraction more of that wonderful salad. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Only a fraction more. Where'd you get this? This is my oregano. How'd you pay? What looks like oregano. Four very hungry people who are very rich. What's wrong with you, Miss? Harry, what is this? That's personal. What is it? <laughs> it's my personal stash. You put this in the bill and the salad. Lord have mercy. Grass! <laughs> the stakes are high. Huh? This is 65 African ganji from the motherland. Do you understand? The pure. Some of that kind. Did you know there was a revolution in 65? We went to sleep and miss it because it is. This is green. This is bad. And you done just spread it all over. It's legendary is what he's saying. Cream of the crop. Top shelf, you know. You think that I stole a dress and then threw it away. And you don't think I have anything on under this coat. I know that you don't. <laughs> I'm certain. Hey, is this the inspiration for Winona Ryder in the early aughts? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> What is this stuff? Domestic 65, hot, isn't it? Was that a good year? Yes, ma'am, best ever. <laughs> they are as high as giraffe sternums. <laughs> I got fired today. I got fired too. What are you talking about? I got fired. You got fired today? Mm -hmm. What are the odds? What are the odds? I want a big prize. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, any deaths in the family, we can celebrate them too, don't you? Throw a pity party. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Okay. Harry, Harry. Okay. You don't even go speak to someone like that, man. <laughs> Gave Harry the cold shoulder. You'll find that she's not a very serious person. Neither am I, Harry. <laughs> we're, we're both frivolous. The little guy needs his money. Big guy needs a two by four upside his head. That's what he needs. The basic necessities. Fellas needs is someone to talk to them gently with compassion. That's all that they need. Are you serious? Just need a peacekeeper. Keep the peace. That gentleman, they don't understand what you're talking about, but you convince me, okay? <laughs> Go on over there. You tell them what you told me. <sighs> Richard Pryor has some acting chops. I must say. Oh. Cat Williams, I am a boy, Damon. Come on, you got a lot of balls. What the hell are you talking about? I am a boy. You don't really want to hurt this man, do you? Oh. Do you want more coming to you? No, that's right. That's intense. AF. I'm going to leave you alone now because you seem to have a nice little friendship start. Okay? <laughs> have a nice Friendship of a kind. The man, the little man that he had to contact, I think it might have been something you said because he got his point across. Harry, mm -hmm. I don't like it here. You got that right. Let's go, let's go where there's some sunshine, where there's human feelings between people, where there's a little tenderness and kindness, where the noise level is not so loud. You want to leave New York? Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Build up a, a wonderful little nest egg. And then head for Hollywood. That's the place for you and me. Ambition, baby. 
He's a man of ideas. Women, natural, robust, open, carefree. A robust woman. The San Antonio women, like Charles Barkley would say. You can talk shit. Okay, just picture this. You and me. <laughs> you can talk shit. Romping through the desert, splashing into the ocean, and the moonlight is out. And we just catch a glimpse of their bodies when the moonlight hits their breasts. Okay. Watch those... You're painting a hell of a picture. It's kind of me I'm serious. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Let's go. Okay. That's a pleasant reverie. Sign me up. Where do I sign? Harry and Skip on an adventure, telling their own story, a playwright and an actor. I like that foundation. Harry, what's the matter? Uh, uh -oh. The old pinch point narratively. A hundred bucks? I think this is a little bit too much though. Harry, I have a good feeling about this town. Are all mechanics deceptive though? Do they get a bad rap or are they really that duplicitous? I'm in the latter school of thought. <laughs> His friend looking at him with <laughs> admiration and approval. Where are all the white women at? I love this place. I'm thrilled here, Harry. I'm telling you, I am. I'm when Gene Wilder commits to a role, he really commits. I'd love to talk with those fellows. I want to try and capture some of their rhythms. It won't take you long to do this. I'll just be a minute. I'll be right back. Jeez. Oh, Skip. Skip the idealist. Hiya, fellas. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Why do you hug him? Um, me and my buddy just rolled... Uh, me and my buddy. My buddy and I just rolled into town. <laughs> and we were wondering, what is the job situation like? Grammatical check. Got some physical prowess. Yowza. <laughs> Spoken like a true introvert. Don't know a darn thing about banking. We don't have to know anything about banking. Sold the manager on a new promotion idea. Oh, you'll save money, <laughs> knock on wood, when you do what a good wood. A very esteemable position. When you flock to the Glenboro Savings Branch. Okay. Feather your nest with frills. <laughs> Fill your garage. Silliness. Silliness. For an interim gig, this really wasn't bad. Oh, you'll save money. There are worse ways to make a buck. I contend. Hubba hubba. You'll save money. Ah, man. We recognize that heart snatching tattoo. Ah, oh, no. They're gonna be framed. How dare they? The audacity of these miscreants to do our protagonists like this. Something important. No, skip. <laughs> skip to my loo. Danger is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. There they are, the New Yorkers. Is there anything we can do to help? Is that your plan? <laughs> you bet your sweet cheeks there is. Place your hands behind your back. What are you doing? I'm getting bad. You better get bad, Jack, because you ain't bad. You're going to get fucked. <laughs> get bad. You know? Fake it. Fake it till you make it. You got a posture. Hey, home. Sit down. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he walking? Why is he walking? Like is it convincing though? He looks like he's having a spasm. The howling phantides. Uh, that's right. We don't want no shit either. That's right. Darn right. We don't want no shit. You understand? You don't want none of this. No shit. That's right. No shit. No. We don't take no shit. Shit. Nope. No shit. We're a couple of constipated individuals. We take none. I don't think this performance is going over well, if I had to say. What's wrong with them? Oh, 
Oh, to be a fly on the wall that day. Started bedlam, chaos will ensue. I imagine, right? I mean, look what he's wearing. <laughs> you don't mess with a cat like that. Okay. This guy is being very magnanimous thus far. Give me a light. He wants a light. <laughs> Why they clutching each other like that? <laughs> It was effective. Oh, shit. You can kiss the baby. Kiss the baby? What baby is that, sir? This the baby? This thing gives the longest sentence in the country for everything, especially for bank robbing. But it's misleading, so don't wet your pants if you know what I'm saying. Oh, man. So if the bottom should happen to drop out from under you two innocent badass as well, that's one bright spot to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> He's forecasting doom, essentially. Taking into account the severe and ruthless nature of this crime and the bleak prospects for your rehabilitation day, day. to serve 125 years in the custody of the commissioner of the department of... Is that all? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 125 years. Are those going to run concurrently? I can't... Oh, kill this one. <laughs> What, what kind of defense did he put up? 125 years. Oh, oh, God. God. oh God. Can you get your stuff? I'm 161. Oh, my God. I checked out those guys who really pulled it off. It's only a one-man show, but You're not going to be a spring chicken anymore when you get out there. Oh, Harry. This is from the Middle Ages. How do they expect you to move anywhere? Excuse me, sir. Wasn't this whole contraption moving turkey? This is a horrible chain of events what you want for sweet pants we innocent man i swear we are we don't even no goddamn sweet pants <laughs> <laughs> call that man sweet pants ah saccharine trousers <laughs> ah. this movie is goofy huh goofy movie don't mess up just think about our people <laughs> Why is Harry smiling like that? Scoop! No more hitting. Did you hear what I said? Take, takes the sophomoric approach. Do you want to stay late tonight? I said turn around. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on, Silver. Skip Harry, I'm freaking. Pulls the reverse Uno car. What is this, the Stanford prison experiment? <laughs> <laughs> He's ah, Harry. Harry unhinged. Harry, Mama. Harry, come here, here, Harry. Mama. Take your pill. Take your pill for three seconds. You'll see it's over. Oh, Mama. Just killed a man. We need them to do the time. Don't let the time do you, Harry and Skip. Who is that? Uh, Gomer Pyle? Nobody has ever just sat down and honestly talked with that man. <laughs> no. Skip, dude. <laughs> Poor kid. La Vie en Rose. He see everything with rose-colored glasses. <laughs> I'll wait till after he's had a little nap. Dead o' curious attitude. I've got it down on the list. Room your cells, soap dish, toilet seats. They're gonna <laughs> have a suggestion box for you there, Skip. I suggest you dial it back a notch. Get on the ball. Get on the ball. And we like to run you new fellas through this little test. Once you've been with us for three months, just to see if you have any aptitude. The bull riding litmus test. I've heard it all. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> he sees a vision of the future. His hope. <laughs> this is absurd, dude. And I love it. I like it a lot. I've seen enough. This guy's a star. He's gonna ride for Glenborough Prison in the next rodeo and we're gonna whip Samson's boys and win that goddamn prize! If you ride in a top hand event, there's a strong chance we can bust out of here. You know what I mean? We're busting now! We're busting out of the L Southern Square. Freaks like you and I can never funk on that. Don't give up. The longer you hold out, the better chance you got to strike a bargain. Stay strong, baby. Stay strong. You're going to represent Glenborough Prison in the annual Top Hand competition. Congratulations. <laughs> I can't do that. What the hell are you talking about? Well, I should have told you in your office. My mother was a veterinarian. I can't have anything to do with the exploitation of animals. She would turn over in her grave. <laughs> He's a conscientious objector. My mother is watching over every step I make. Do you know that my soul is on the line here? So please, let's just drop. What? Like how he just oh. improvised. No, I told him no. My now he's speaking with his mother. Right, we'll talk about it myself. Um, I have to go to the bathroom. Would you excuse me, Warden? <laughs> I like how he just improvised this whole backstory. And he only had like five and ten seconds before the plan was formulated. It's called paying your debt to society. They got their wires crossed. Like their streams right now. They're crossing streams. He's undaunted, unflappable. Or is it a front? My back. My 11 year old back problem is gone. I feel terrific. Thanks, Cap. Appreciate you. It backfired. Gross burger. That is one gross burger. <laughs> He's crying. Nighty night, boys. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Um, what do you mean by that? It can't be stopped. Say, no, 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 no. He's a bit thick. Excuse me, this is my cousin Meredith. He's been helping out on your case. Oh, hello, Meredith. Help me out on my case. It's amazing. There's hardly any family resemblance. No offense. Oh, yeah. It's a long story. Say, um... You get there right. Remember the little girl in the back? She is ready to swear that you weren't the ones in the woodpecker suits when the bank was held up. And she remembers that one of the robbers had a tattoo. She even remembers the design. This little girl is as perceptive as Sean Spencer. Because the little girl's only six, court declared that her information doesn't justify a new hearing, but we are... It's not credible. Out of the mouths of babes does not fly. That you were railroaded. One more example of a repressive criminal justice system coming down on the bottom layer of society. Well, I don't know about the bottom part. Bottom part. <laughs> I could agree with you more on the rest. Right. Are you calling me a bottom feeder, ma'am? Your good looks won't get you out of this. You want to know something that's always fascinated me? Prison romances that sometimes spring up between inmates and girls from the outside. Sometimes quite beautiful girls. I mean, would you? He's trying to speak it into existence. You actually become involved, I mean romantically, with a prisoner? Absolutely not. Oh. Shot down. No, I didn't think so. I was just curious. <laughs> Arbitrary question. Now, he may be going into the rodeo, but that don't mean he's coming out. Oh. Uh. They're up to some shenanigans, some tomfoolery, malarkey. A rodeo clown is the most dangerous job in the world. 
He's the one that gets closest to the ball. Yeah, it takes a certain constitution. Now every ball has a secret word that makes him crazy. Sends him into his wildest ride. Your job is to figure out that word. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, malt liquor. Exactly. <laughs> Shit. Oh, <you> Congratulations. <laughs> you found the word. He's been activated. <laughs> An obvious stunt double. Yeah, Richard Bryan not doing this. I'm working on a new play, and I just wondered, would you like to come to the opening night with me? I'd love to. So much confidence. <laughs> Maybe we ought to get you out of here first, though. Okay. <laughs> Sound reasoning. Hang your head over. Hear the wind blow. Roses love sun. sun. It's a nice flourish between the build up and the conclusion of the story. We have reached the bridge of the movie, if you will. We found the culprit. 125 years without a whip of pussy. How'd that make you feel, miss? Unscrupulous. <laughs> Why is he dressed up as Raggedy Ann? Better not see no surprises at the spur of the moment. That's very kind of you. He's putting his thumb on the scale. Okay. None the wiser, huh? <laughs> this is an elaborate escape. The wife is in on it. Right. He's incog negro. <laughs> Flawless. Flawless pimp walk. Richard Pryor is amazing, dude. He can do no wrong in my eyes. Outside of the wrong he did to Pam Greer, but that's a whole other can of worms. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how they going to get skipped through that little hole in the wall without nobody noticing. Because Warren Beatty has just informed me much faith in their boys that this year instead of splitting the first... Ah, they're a bunch of smooth operators. The operation is smooth like butter or margarine. Why don't we give the money to the prisoners? You do whatever you think is best, okay? <laughs> Auga! <laughs> he hit him with the stutter step. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that, bull. <laughs> what kind of cock and bull plan is this? Got him. Ah, does that spell trouble for a skip here? Or just a part of the plan? We're giving the money back to you. The people. You think bull riding is your ally? You merely adopted the bull. I was born on it. Molded by it. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's sniffing something out. Gosh darn it, Grossberger. <laughs> he hit him with the mean right hook. He 
<laughs> he fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. He's out of here, dude. He's out of here. The mission seems to be a success. I don't want to speak too soon and jinx our protagonists here. <laughs> After you, my lady. An ingenious scheme. Nice to make your acquaintance. Got some family there. Hey, will I go with you? Try to be brave, sweet pants. <laughs> sweet pants. <laughs> I like that sobriquet. How did you get out? But you're free. You're damn right, we're free. You bet your sweet cheeks you're free. I mean, they caught the other two guys. Thanks to Meredith. <laughs> they did all that jailbreaking for no reason. But hey, you got that up under your belt. Yes, and good luck. Thank you. Uh -oh. Thanks for everything. Do I see sparks flying here? It's okay. Plant one on her, man. Changes their mind. Hey, don't skip the romance. I'll send you a postcard, I guess. What about my opening night? <laughs> Am I still invited? Holy mackerel! <laughs> How many times do I have to ask you? <laughs> and the guy gets the girl after all. You do love to see it, right? And they drive off into the distance. Buddy and pal, romantic partner. They got off scot-free. Directed by Sidney Poitier, who would have thunk? That was 1980s Stir Crazy. A Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor vehicle directed by Sidney Poitier. I like that, that's a nice bow on top of information for me. You know, it was it's an absurd movie. It's 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 hysterical. You know, <laughs> I wonder who wrote it, and and, and uh, an actor and a playwright get themselves into wild predicaments one after another. Case of false accusation. They got framed. Harry was the realist, and Richard Pryor and <laughs> Lloyd Lloyd was this Dumb and Dumber and. Skip was the idealist. Um, yeah, I gotta watch some more Richard Pryor movies. Cause I know he has a, like at least like five more in which he acts. So that ought to be interesting. And Gene Wilder, I'm gonna watch Young Frankenstein soon. And continue my Mel Brooks slash Gene Wilder journey, as it were. But yeah, there were some some sprinkled jokes throughout that were effective for me. You know, I like the, I like the archetype, the, the characterization of Grossberger. He was just a big teddy bear after all with this hardened exterior, James Harden. And, you know, I, I don't know why. I do like the twist of they broke out for no reason. I don't know. That does it for me for some reason. It does it for me. They, they went through all that, this elaborate <laughs> unfolding of events. <laughs> and then cut to at the end, they actually took that six-year-old's little girl Testimony after all, it was admissible in court. This movie flew by though. How long was it? Hour 40? 100 minutes? Yeah, but let me know some more Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor recommendations if you have any for me down in the comment sections if you would be a dear. And uh, this, is a, this is a movie worth watching. And I will look forward to your recommendations. Thank you for watching with me this far. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe, leave me some comments. Go over to the Patreon for unedited reactions and early access to all of my videos. And much obliged for your viewership this far. All right. As always, till we meet again.